Good morning, children. Welcome back to Maths Track One session. In the last class, we completed exercise four point two. Okay. Now, children, coming to exercise four point three, I am going to again explain each and every model. Okay. First Roman, second, third, and fourth. Okay. But the last exercise four point four is completely given to you. Why? Because Till now, what we did in the first exercise, second, third, it's completely depend on that. You all know how to write uh, the given sentence in algebraic form and everything. Okay, so that's what exercise four point five. Complete homework. Don't worry, I'll send the key. But first, try your own. Okay, and you know, children. By today, we are completing our syllabus. That is track one syllabus. Okay. So after that, I am going to give you the revision sums daily. You have to practice like anything. And even the worksheet is left with us. So soon, that means after as soon as we finish this exercise, we'll start doing that exercise, that uh, worksheet also. Okay. That means what is the workbook is given to you. Okay. Now coming to exercise four point three. The first question is solve the following equations, and the first question is two y two y plus five by two equals to seven by two. What is the first question is given? Two y plus five by two equals to thirty seven by two. Okay, thirty seven by two. We have to solve for the value of y. We have to solve the value for y. See here, how I am solving the value for y. Two y plus five by two equals to thirty seven by two. Okay. Now two y equals to. Now I am sending all the numbers to that side. Which side? Right hand side. Thirty-seven by two. This is plus five by two will become minus five by two. So that is two y equals to thirty-seven minus five. How much? That is seven minus five is two and three. So thirty-two. Why? Because I did directly because both the denominators are same. So I can write here two. Okay. So thirty-seven minus five is thirty-two. Thirty-two will go in two table, right? So two ones, two sixteens. That is two y equals to sixteen. Now two into y into into will go that side means what I told in yesterday's class. That is uh, y equals to sixteen by two. This into becomes a division. Now again two ones, two eights. So y equals to eight. So this is the value of y. That is, you got the value of y is eight. So this is how you'll solve the equation. Okay. We'll go for the next question, children. I think you all understood, right? See here, I'm explaining e bit and j bit. See here, e bit five by two x. Equals to minus five. Children, you have to write in your notes. Why? Because I am explaining each and every step. Okay. So if you forgot to write from the beginning, just go and rewind it and go to the starting and write. Okay. So five by two x equals to minus five. Now x equals to minus five. You know, children, five by two into x. This is into into five by two will go that side means reciprocal means reverse into two by five. Actually, five by two is into will go as a division. So instead of that, you can write five by two as two by five as a reciprocal. So five ones, five ones get cancelled. So x equals to minus one into two. That is. Minus two. So this is the value of x. Okay. Now coming to the j bit. Two b my two b by three minus five equals to three. 
so first sign minus phi to that sign so 2b by 3 equals to 3 minus 5 will go that side means plus 5 so 2b by 3 equals to 5 plus 3 is 8 ok now b equals to 8 into 2 by 3 will go as 3 by 2 so 2 ones 2 fours so b equals to 4 3 is 12 so 12 is the solution ok children understood similarly we have to do the second round also ok same model see here children solve the following equations the second Roman here the first question is that means in first Roman uh, second Roman a bit 2 into x plus 4 equals to 12 he has given simply the solve that means we have to solve for the variable here which is there in the question that is the x right now here 2x plus 4 that means into so this is whole bracket so then you can send directly 2 to this sign you can send this 2 when is a whole bracket is like this you can send 2 directly to right hand side that is x plus 4 equals to 12 by 2 so 2 ones to 6 so x plus 4 equals to 6 then x equals to 6 plus 4 will become minus 4 so x equals to 6 minus 4 is 2 right so x equal to 6 minus 4 that is 2 next coming to the c bit 3 times that means 3 into n minus 5 equals to minus 21 ok now again this 3 will go to directly to here as a denominator why I am sending you know children because in 20, 21 will go in 3 table so that's what I am sending directly ok now n minus 5 equals to minus 21 by 3 so 3 ones 3 sevens so we left with n minus 5 equals to minus 7 ok we left with n minus 5 equals to minus 7 so n equals to minus 7 this minus 5 will go to that side it will become a plus so plus so n equals to minus 2 right so this is the solution ok children ok children see here the third question 4 equals to 5 into p minus 2 4 equals to 5 into p minus 2 right now 4 equals to 4 will not go in 5 table so that's what I am multiplying with 5 so 5 into p 5p what is there inside the bracket you have to multiply what is there outside so 5 into p is 5p 5 twos are 10 ok now send all the numbers to this side here now here 4 is lying here so send the 10 to this side 4 minus 10 will come this side means plus 10 equals to 5p so 4 plus 10 is 14 equals to 5p ok so 14 by 5 equals to p that means p value if you want means 5 into so into will come this side as a by so 14 by 5 next coming to uh, the solution of e ok so 0 equals to 16 plus 4 into m minus 6 so 16 is there you can send directly like this so 0 minus 16 equals to 4 into m 
minus 6. 0 minus 16 is minus 16 equals to 4 into m minus 6. And you know that 16 will be divisible by 4. So I can send 4 directly to here that is as a by. So equals to m minus 6. So 4 ones, 4 fours. So minus 4 equals to m minus 6. Now keep m right side and send minus 6 to this side. That is minus 4 plus 6 equals to m. So 6 minus 4 is 2. That is m equals to 2 is the solution. Okay children? Understood? Now the last one. Children, see the fourth point three fourth Roman. Construct three equations starting with x equals to 2. Okay? See here, we have to construct three equations starting with x equals to 2. That means, you have to do some changes, but you have to get the final answer is x is equals to 2. Listen very carefully. See, we have to frame some equations. The same equation, you have to do the modification. See here. First find x equals to 2. We have to frame how many equations? 3 equations. Now first equation I am frame, framing. Here x equals to 2. Now if I multiply, if I multiply both sides, that means left hand side and right hand sides with 3, which are the number I like. If you want, you can multiply with 4. Nothing will happen. That means I am multiplying on both sides with uh, 3. So 3 into x is 3x. 2 into 3 is 6. That is 3x equals to 6. So this is the one equation I frame. Okay. Still, if you want to frame more, then do one thing. So it's becoming very easy. I want to frame it more means do one thing. Subtract, subtract 1 from both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. That means 3x minus 1 equals to 6 minus 1. So 3x minus 1 equals to 6 minus 1 is 5. I am sure that you did not understand clearly. Right? Listen very carefully children. First thing, whatever the equation is given, x equals to 2. Now, is asking to frame such three more equations which is related to x equals to 2. That means, if you solve this, you will get the value x equals to 2 only. I will show you how. Now, what I did here, whichever the number I like, I multiplied with both sides with 3. If you want to do the subtraction, both sides directly here, you can do immediately. Okay? If you want to multiply, if you want to do division, if you want to do subtraction, whatever you want, you can do it. But, see that, how you have to do. Multiply both sides with 3. So, I multiplied with 3. So, 3 into x, 3x. 2 into 3 is 6. So, 3x equals to 6. Still, if I want to frame more, the same equation. So, subtract 1 from both sides. So, 3x minus 1 equals to 6 minus 1. So, that is 3x minus 1 equals to 6 minus 1 is 5. Right? See, you may get doubt. So, how it is x equals to 2, this one. Now, I'll show you how this one will get x equals to 2. 3x minus 1 equals to 5. So, 3x equals to 5. This minus 1 will go that side as a plus. So, 3x equals to 6. x equals to 6 by 3. So, 3 1s, 3 2s. So, you got x equals to 2. Same answer. Understood? Similarly, if you want to frame any other equation, means the same question. See here. Now again, the same question. x equals to 2. Now, I will do one thing. Um, subtract or uh, addition I will do. Add uh, 5 on both sides. Add 5 on both sides directly. So, x plus 5 equals to 2 plus 5. So, x plus 5 equals to 2 plus 5 is 7. So, this is another equation. From this only, you have to frame three equations. Again, third one. x equals to 2. Now, if I 
subtract uh, minus 2 on both sides. Subtract minus 2 on both sides. That means x minus 2, 2 minus subtract means 2 minus of minus. Subtract minus 2 on both sides. So x minus 2, 2 minus of minus 2. So x minus 2 equals to 2 minus of minus 2 is 2. So x minus 2 equals to 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay. Then I think the answer will get wrong. Right. If you do like this, subtract minus 2 means minus 2 only we have to do subtract. See here. x minus 2. I wrote here 2 minus 2. That means minus of minus means 2 minus into minus plus become. So 2 plus 2 is 4. But this minus 2 will go that side and become a 6. So you may get clearly understand that if you do minus of minus like this. So that's what I tell you easiest one. Okay. Otherwise do one thing. If you want you can leave this one as like this. Subtract minus 2 on both sides. So x minus 2 2 minus 2. Okay. So x minus 2 equals to 2 minus 2 is 0. So x minus 2 equals to 0 is the equation. Okay. Subtract minus 2 on both sides. So x minus 2, 2 minus 2. So x minus 2 equals to 0. So you will get the same answer. Is it clear? So for one question we have to frame 3 equations. Similarly the b bit also same. He gave the value minus 2. Okay children. Now by this we successfully completed our syllabus or track 1. So exercise 4.3 the remaining sums. Okay. You can take it as a homework. Okay children. Have a nice day. And we left with worksheets. That means workbook. So as soon as this is finished I will send in the message that we have to start do that one. Okay. And even the next day of homework is also you know that. That is exercise 4.4. .4. Okay. Have a nice day children. Meet you soon.